Hey guys, Vlogmas day, I'll say 14. It's Monday morning, start to the week. I'm going to the BCHQ because I'm going to package up orders from like last week and over the weekend. Um, Brendalyn was in Miami for like a couple of things. So I think she's coming back today. So I'm just gonna go over there early package everything up drop it up off at the post office and then when i come home i need to edit the vlog that's going up today um it's chilly we got a cold front i spoke that into existence because i was talking about it last week but we got a little cold front it's like 60 degrees um so it's not cold it's just chilly and i'm trying to figure out what i want to wear today i think i'm gonna do Honestly, I just want to wear the Dune BC Body because it's literally my favorite because it's just a t-shirt, so it's super versatile. Um, this week also, for any of my subscribers who don't follow me on Instagram because I never really like tag my Instagram or anything, or Burn the Linen Core, we're doing buy one get one 40% off of all the BC Bodies on Brandalyn and Cora, we're doing it the whole week. So if you want to try them out and you haven't, you want to buy one for yourself and get one as a gift, perfect time. You don't need a coupon code. As soon as you add the second one to your cart, the discount comes off. It's a really good promo if, again, you you want to try them out or let's say you already bought one and you want to get yourself another one. Yeah, I want to figure out what to wear. I really want to wear Dune. But... It's like, how many times are you going to wear it? But it's like, we buy clothes to wear them, right? Like, if I wear this, I'm going to wear this with sweatpants. I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to wear the stone BC body. You can see the little clips right there. And then I'm just going to wear my sweatpants. I could wear all gray because I do have gray sweats. So maybe I'll do that. I've worn this little combo before, but this is Tyler's. I think I got this for him at H&M. Yeah. It's like a... I don't even know what fabric this is. Almost feels like fleecy. But it's not like super thick. It's a flannel. gray beige so i'm gonna wear that on top and some sneakers okay here's the outfit i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup Same, same as always. Here's my stand. My hair is already getting pretty dirty, so I'm probably just gonna like claw clip it. So. A face tap coming in the future. A face tap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Face tap. Whatever. What are you gonna get? Babe, you know what I want today? What? Soup. Chilly and it's a little gloomy. I think it's gonna stay like in the 60s.
This is from Ulta. It's really good. What is it called? The Juice Infused Lip Oil. Now a perfume. I kind of just want to wear the Oris. Or, yeah, Letta. Mm. Oh, it smells so freaking good. My nails are not coming off at all, which is good. Oh, all right guys, I'm in the car, I'm in Tyler's car, about to head to work. I just finished editing a vlog um, so that I can get it uploaded while I'm packaging orders. I am apply break to shift from P. Dumbass. Um, I'm starting to get very tired just from like vlogging, 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 editing, 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 uploading, uploading. It's a lot every single day on top of running a business, on top of now I've done like a couple makeup people, an interior design project. working at the shop I'm I'm starting to feel tired of today's it's what now 12 days straight and I still got 13 days to go and it's just it's starting to hit me I'm, I'm starting to get kind of worn down um, but I'm grateful I'm very very grateful I've been choosing to really focus on gratitude and how amazing my life is even when it isn't easy and yeah i am extremely blessed i am very very grateful and that's just even when i'm tired i'm trying to really bask in the gratitude of it all of everything um but a couple things that i have to do i have to obviously go package orders leave drop off those orders and then Go to the Millennium Mall because I bought the wrong thing. I hope the receipt is in here. It is. Um, I just need to exchange that for the candle and I want to do it right away because I want to make sure I am still in the window. Like I don't want to wait and I don't want to go to the mall again, <laughs> like at all. Um, I also want to, damn it, I forgot the freaking coupon. Um, I wanted to get a cologne for Tyler and I have done with my kids appointments. I would like, yeah, I need to go to the mall and then I really want to make a chicken tortilla soup. I found one on, um, the cozy cook.com and it's the same thing that I kind of always do chicken, black beans, rotel, 
a little bit of cheddar cheese, like those things. And I'm just gonna throw everything in the crock pot when I get home and let it cook because later I am going, oh my God, today I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be exhausted tomorrow, I already know it. <coughs> um, my best friends are taking all the kids to Disney Springs, which is my worst nightmare. I hate Disney Springs. I used to work there, great, and of course my battery is dying. I'm just gonna save my battery for when I get back home because it's gonna die anyway. I am annoyed at myself for not bringing a spare battery. I just stopped and got Chick-fil-A because I am so hungry. I got a spicy chicken sandwich, my fave. I should have got extra pickles, I forgot. Mm. Um, a mac and cheese. I got my period. And I'm surprised. I wasn't getting like any cravings for anything. Here they are. If you have not had mm, Chick fil A's Mac. It is so good. Mm, 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 mm. And I got a wire. From here, I have to go to Aldi to pick up some groceries for um, dinner. So, I'll just show you guys when I get home. Mm. What's up, you guys? So, I am home. And I truly, truly, truly am burnt out. I am so tired. It's like, I am so tired. It's 3.30 and I just got home. And I have to leave in 30 minutes to Disney Springs. Which, if you don't know what Disney Springs is, it's essentially like an extension of Disney. And I used to work there at Sephora on that property. And it is the bane of my existence. I do not go to Disney Springs. I think I've gone maybe a handful of times since I quit. Sephora because I hate it that much. It is always crowded. There's so many tourists. There's always traffic. It's just not it. But I told my friend that I would help her. She has three babies. And all my friends are going to take the kids to the Springs to, um, I think there's like, see Christmas trees or I don't know, some some shit there. So I am not gonna go back on my word. I told her I would help her, so I'm gonna go. But I am tired. So Imadi, if you watch this, just know I really, really love you and your children. Not even that I don't wanna go. If I didn't feel the way I was feeling, I wouldn't care. But I just don't. This chicken is looking a little weird. This is like really white. Anyways, I was gonna go to the mall. Nope, can't do that. Went from the HQ.
straight to Aldi. I got everything that I needed for this recipe. Um, I needed black beans. And I'm just going to put this to slow cook while I'm gone because Tyler ain't going to cook nothing. I think I'm going to make myself a coffee. And I do not make myself coffee this late because I get really bad anxiety. But I have to do it today because I am done. I have my YouTube video also uploading. So I'm hoping it's fast enough I can finish while... or before I leave and the traffic from here to Disney Springs is so bad and then once you like get to Disney Springs the traffic is really bad because um, it's Disney and everybody especially during Christmas it's absolutely beautiful that's the thing it's it's not that it's this terror it is a beautiful property like very magical it's it's stunning and so nice for kids okay I'm gonna season this chicken I put chicken like chicken flat down over here okay so i'm seasoning the chicken cumin i'm not even following the recipe at this point it is very rare that i even care to follow recipes garlic powder do a ton of that chili powder some salt. I'm not going to put too much because I'll salt it when I get back. Um, and now I'm just going to dump everything else in there. It's the best part about the crock pot. You don't have to do anything. So I did a can of tomatoes with green chilies. Always have these on hand um, because they're just so good in tons of recipes. Black beans. Corn. giving me anxiety because normally I'm home for most of the time so like there's usually no dishes in the sink nothing like that and right now since I've been gone all day it's like there's dishes in the sink I need to switch over laundry like I have to do like so much stuff and it's stressing me out it shouldn't it doesn't need to stress me out but I'm just literally eyeballing everything I don't know what I'm doing right now um, oh, and a jalapeno. I bought a pack. I love jalapenos. Hopefully it cooks in time. Which I think it should. The crock pot is my best friend. I love it. If you do not use the crock pot, this I will use at the end later. Literally just throw everything in, mix it up. And that's it. And then you let it cook. And I have it on high. I'm just going to leave it on high until I get back home. Cream cheese I'll put at the end. And then the sharp cheddar is also to put at that. And I also got yellow corn tortilla chips to crumble on top. Boom. So later today, I will have dinner made. I don't even know if I'm going to be hungry because... Oh, and I also bought these at... Aldi. There's like a ton of different sprinkles. So I thought this would be cute for our Christmas cookie thing. We didn't even get to cook our do our Christmas cookies the other day because Tyler was working all day. So I'm just gonna make sure that this video gets uploaded. I'm gonna make a coffee and then I will try to bring you guys to um, Disney Springs. <sighs> okay, yeah, I still have work to do so. spilled water all over myself okay we are back we are back in the car about to post a tiktok so oh, i just uploaded my vlog i just am waiting for it to finish i have it on my computer and i'm just gonna have to make it live from my phone mm, cute little dog cute little old man and his dog my coffee i tried the caramel cookie flavor it's all right
It's not my absolute favorite, but it's good. I still think the Puerto Rico pot is the best pot that Nespresso has. And I got these cups at Marshall's. I always get either Marshall's, Home Goods, little cups like this. Um, for whenever I want to grab my coffee, like, and run out of the house. I hope I wasn't supposed to bring anything. I don't think I was, but... speed bumps Tyler did everything on my car he did an oil change changed something else um, did some filter thing and got me new windshield wipers use the right lane to keep he was like, I feel like such a man. Okay, you guys. I literally left my phone or my camera in the car, which I did not mean to do. Um, which sucks because I would have loved to get some footage. But, um, wow. That, it was really nice. I'm, you know, I already knew once I came I'd be fine, but I was just already tired. Now I'm exhausted because, like I said, I was helping. It was pretty much all my best friends. One of my best friends has my godson and my goddaughter. My other best friend has my nephew, I guess, Lucas. And then my other best friend has, twin, has twins and then another little girl. So she has three little girls. So I was helping her with the twins and the other two or the other one holy cow once again i don't know how moms do it you guys are superheroes you guys are superhuman the strongest people i know because holy cow and i am exhausted as soon as i get home I'm going to shower, wash my face, and take my ass to sleep because I, my arm from holding babies. Like, wow. And then I got, um, I got Lucas and Sloan a sprinkles cupcake from the ATM so they could like have the cute little ATM situation. And so I was lifting them both up, holding them up. I was like, I'm, my arm's gonna break. Like, I was dead. Dead. That was so exhausting. We did, like, a Christmas tree scroll, stroll thing where you, like, go looking for all the different Christmas trees. Um, but, yeah. Tired is not the word. I am exhausted. I'm not setting my alarm tomorrow. I'm going to let myself sleep. I have to, obviously, work tomorrow, but mm -mm. I'm letting myself sleep until my body wakes me up. You would think it was late. It's 8.30. Like, by the time I get home, it'll be, like, right about 9.00. I don't even know if the chicken or the, the soup is done. I'm pretty sure it is. I put it on at like 3.30 and it's 8.30. So it's been cooking for five hours. It should be fine. Tomorrow, I'm not too sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I know in the morning I have to go to the tattoo shop and then I have to go to get their supplies. So I will be probably running to Target First, I'll probably go to Target. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably go to Target. And then, um, I'm trying to make sure I get on the right exit. I'll probably go to Target, get everything that they need, and then go to the shop and just like check in, unload everything. I have to get them snacks. I have to get them paper towels. I have to get them just a lot of their supplies basically um and then after that i need to come home well i need to drop off the orders that are in my car then i need to come home and uh, i need to tell tyler to put all the i need to 
to edit uh -huh. another day of vlogmas oh fuck. i have to do that tomorrow i have two vlogs to edit i'm telling you guys vlogmas is no joke it's so much work like it's a lot of work and i love it do not get me wrong i love vlogging i love vlogmas you guys know the love that i have for my youtube channel and the people that decide to watch me it's like i feel closer to the people that watch me on youtube than any other platform i don't know why i think because like i show so much more of my life like instagram there's like weeks at a time where i won't post anything at all because i just i don't know i don't feel a connection to you to instagram youtube i think it's because like you guys see like all day of me um in vlogs that i just feel a connection and i feel like you guys understand my personality i feel like you guys never misconstrue the things that i say you never like i feel like everybody's just one big family and i love it on youtube i will never take the youtube community that i have for granted because especially because like i've been working on this channel for years uh, I haven't been so consistent and then I go back to being consistent and then I go back to not being consistent and everybody sticks with me and it's like I just I love everybody okay it is very dark outside so I'm just gonna record once I get back home so that I can make it home I have about 20 minutes to go so I will see you guys when I get back home I have a present under the tree, guys. This one right here. And it's heavy. I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's like a cake stand or something. He used the wrapping paper that I got, which is not our tradition. Our tradition is he picks out his wrapping paper and I buy it, and then I pick out my wrapping paper and he buys it. That's normally what we do. I am checking the crock pot. It smells heavenly in here. And I love it because the chicken will like fall apart in the crock pot. So like if I do this, it all just like shreds into little pieces. I didn't cut them or anything. I just threw them in there. So I still have to taste it. Maybe salt it. Um, I need to add the cream cheese. I'm doing my own thing. Okay, I'm about to pour up some of this soup. So, I literally unclipped my body so I got my period today, so I'm just like, you can tell I'm not, wow. I'm just not, not, oh, yikes. So I just mix it up. It tastes super yummy. Chicken, corn, black beans, tomatoes, green chilies, chicken broth, a ton of seasonings. Um, what else is in here? A little bit of cream cheese. My dog is annoying as shit. Um, what else? I think that's it do a really small bowl for me because I'm not like super hungry but I'm gonna eat I can't believe it's 9 30. I'm just gonna put some of the juice then we do the toppings which are Sour cream. Avocado. <sighs> Some crunchy chips. Sour 
cream. yummy so we're about to eat and then i'm going to shower and go to bed So I am showered. I'm about to do my skincare. Take my earrings off. I am getting a lot of questions more recently. It's, I feel like it's like every other video or so. Every couple videos. People ask me about where these bracelets are from. These are from a brand called Kendra Scott. Me and Brendalyn actually had a pop-up shop there for Hispanic Heritage Month for Brendalyn and Cora. They invited us, which was so nice of them. Um, they have a location in the Millennium Mall. They also have a location at Disney Springs. Um, and they are not solid gold. They're, I think it's pronounced Vermeil, where it's like the highest form of basically like plating. So it's, I've never taken them off. We got these in October. Me and Brendan got a matching set. We got them in October. I've never once taken them off and they're in like perfect condition like i don't know if you can see but they're perfect um if i can find them online i'll link them down below they come in a set i'm just using the elemis wipes exfoliating pads whatever it is called so i do that i'm about to have to re-up on my oil i always forget to link this and you guys are always like what's the link to the oil it's from a brand called Skinergy Beauty, and it's the only oil that they have. It's the 100% pure squalane and sunflower facial oil. So I just put some drops of this. Yeah, I'm about to be out. I need to order it. And drench my face, and lately I've been extra, extra, extra dry. So I'm just going to use the... Skin Guardian Moisturizer, which is also from the same brand. Um, I personally don't like this as much as I like the oil because I'm just, I like an oil over a moisturizer. And this would be better for like somebody with oilier skin. I am not oily at all. I'm pretty dry. So, yeah, but I told you guys before, I like to go to sleep looking like a greased chicken. Um, so yeah, my skincare is done. I just need to floss, brush my teeth, put my liners on. Oh shit. There's Tyler's. I need to put some stuff in the hamper. Oh. Oh man, guys, I'm tired and my stomach is killing me. Like... In the hamper as well. If you have a bungee cami, always take out your pads. Always. If you have one. Always take out your pads before you throw in the washing machine. It will preserve the shape of the pads. <laughs> got 
my cuts t-shirt dirty yesterday. There's like a couple dirt stains, so I need to read the washing instructions to make sure I don't ruin it, which is another thing I highly recommend. People don't ever read their instructions on how to wash and then they end up ruining their clothes. Machine wash cold, gentle wash cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry. Remove promptly, do not dry clean. Um, yeah, I'll probably wash and air dry because I, the dryer like ruins your clothes. That's the one thing about white, I always get white dirty. I think this is where I'm gonna end today's vlog because I am truly exhausted, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week, a good holiday season so far. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.